The headlines. Government won't compromise on unreasonable issues, asserts Chief Minister N. Biren. Six government employees suspended after anti-corruption cell gets complaints. And incubator machine at Lumfield Dog Farm remains non-functional due to authorities' negligence. Good evening viewers, you're watching Ask of English News and I'm Chanchan Wangdun. Now let's proceed with the news in detail. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren has firmly asserted that the government will not compromise on any unreasonable issues. The Chief Minister was speaking at the inaugural function of the mega event of Romi Industries held at Kwagaitel Thongnao Chamlaikai today. He said the 48-hour total shutdown called by all Manipur Border Area Development Association in all districts is unreasonable. The protest is being initiated by some vested interest. The step taken up by the government is to improve road connectivity and various other problems in the border areas. The decision was taken at the Chief Minister's meet chaired by the Union Home Minister held recently in Mizoram. The Chief Minister appeals to all sections of the people not to give any obstruction in any kind of developmental works taken up by the government. If any organization calls for boundary blockage, the issue should be discussed by the public. He also appeals to the people to carry on the daily works even though boundary blockage is called. Chief Minister N. Biren, Industries Minister T. H. Bishwajit and Education Minister T. H. Radesham inaugurated the first ever shoe manufacturing machine and showroom in the Northeast by Romi Industries. Chief Minister N. Biren said any of the government departments will not maintain any account in a bank that refuses to pay loans to the poor sections of people to help sustain their livelihood. Accounts will be maintained in those banks that give out loans to the poor sections. The chief minister pointed out the fact that the banks in Manipur are meant only for the businessman. The government has reserved 35 crore rupees for educated youths who are trying to get self-employed. Peace will prevail in the state when the educated youths focus on self-employment instead of waiting for government jobs. Therefore, it is high time the unemployment youths started looking at self-employment. The Chief Minister expressed happiness over the measures taken up by the Romi Industries, which is a significant work for the state as a whole. The government has been discussing implementation of the decision to use handloom clothes and other products in schools and colleges from next session. The aim of the new government is making Manipur, the Chief Minister added. But see, government do ya roi. I koi kuchh jila government jab koi issue khara de de koi compromise sun tuk do roi. Issue khara de koi compromise koi le mina si koi na je. Pune saakhon mina si pune le mina si koi khena bolai roi khena bol thamoi sing thamoi bolai roi amat tas oye na saakhon mina gude bini khena bol mien thamoi hai bini koi. Madai da thugai na bohone rakho de de koi madu koi government ne ne koi overcome door ko chat kani. Industries Minister T. H. Bishwajit said the government is trying to manufacture antibiotics in Manipur. Department of Industry is planning to take up various schemes to reduce the unemployment problem in the state. Minister T. H. Radesham said the Labor Department has begun training programs for uneducated and unemployed persons to take up self-employment. Economy of the state will be improved if different products of the state are made available on e-market. As part of the mega event, out of 25 HSLC examination toppers, 13 toppers of Tiny Todd School and 11 toppers of Nirmalabau School were presented cash prize and mementos by Romi Industries. The newly launched shoe manufacturing machine by Romi Industries is manufactured by China. This machine will not only enable production of different varieties of shoes, but can produce more than 4,000 shoes. 
Following recommendation of the anti-corruption cell, six government employees have been placed under suspension by their respective departments on charge of indulging in corruption. Officer on special duty S. Hemanta told media persons at a press meet held at the office of the anti-corruption cell today that five of the employees have been placed under suspension on different charges of corruption while the pension of another employee has been blocked. STC Moirang Soka Lashra Menjar has been suspended for having taken a sum of 1,000 rupees in connection with the measurement of land. A video clip in this regard was received at the cell. After conducting an inquiry, the SDC has been suspended. In another, a photo was submitted that showed the construction of an office of PHC at Tause Bangai block in Fairchild district. But on further inquiry by the department concerned, there was no construction at all. For submitting false photograph, SO of Tribal Development Corporation, TH Shanta, has been suspended from service. On the other hand, the AE of this corporation has been penalized by blocking his pension for giving his signature on the false report. On one of the LDC working at the office of DC Imphal East, S. Gojendro was found taking some money for file processing. A video clip was received at the cell. After inquiring into the incident, he has been suspended from service. LDC of Thobal DC office S. Ngambi was found taking bribe for file processing. On the other hand, BLW of Infal West 1 CD Block, Department of RD and PR, KH Keso and Pion Eljoy have also been suspended for taking bribe. I am going to the evidence of the department. I am going to take action. 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 Video nampi dana, kopi dana, lepak sida kerapsen kok nugi kena benda, cakup meting pang view hari dana, mukus arpin log jadi. Incubator machine which was installed at the hatchery unit of Manipur duck farm located at Lamphelpat is lying non-functional due to negligence of the authority concerned. Interestingly, even after more than 20 years, Manipur duck farm has remained non-functional at Nilakuti. However, under the initiative of the then Veterinary and Animal Husbandry Minister Govindas Kontojan, it was revived and shifted to Lamphelpat in 2015. Later, many unemployed youths have been provided ducklings and chicks at cheaper rates after hatching duck and hen eggs in the incubator machine at the hatchery unit of the farm. Unfortunately, in the recent flood in Manipur, the hatchery unit was caved in and the incubator machine has been lying non-functional since the last many months. It has created a big setback to the farmers who are hatching eggs of dogs and hens in the farm for ducklings and chicks at cheaper rates. In 2016, a hatchery unit was installed that produced a variety of dogs, Kaki Campbell, which lays eggs in good numbers. A team of ISTV News led by our staff reporter Indra Raj Urikhinbam and cameraman Jiban Konsum visited the farm to find out the ailing factors of the farm. As of now, 700 dogs of the same variety are being reared at the farm, which provides ducklings after hatching the eggs in the incubator. However, during the recent flood, the place where the incubator machine is kept caved in and destroyed a large number of eggs of the farm and other farmers that were kept in the incubator machine. The charge of hatching eggs in the farm is 2 rupees per egg. However, as the incubator machine has remained non-functional, many farmers have to pay 10 to 15 rupees per egg for hatching at other private hatcheries. On the other hand, an amount of 50 lakh rupees to be paid to the party who supplied dog feeds at the farm has not been paid still today. Besides, sanction order of the contractors who constructed the duck farm has not been issued since the last two years. At present, the farm is facing a lot of shortages and hardships in all aspects. Interestingly, at this critical juncture, some relatives of concerned minister have allegedly started construction of roads inside the farm without having any work order. Public has drawn attention of the new government which has promised a corruption-free state to look into the matter and do the needful at the earliest. Nungba Area Joint Action Committee 
has called indefinite total shutdown from 5 p.m. of August 30 on National Highway 37. The bond was imposed to protest against the negligence of the government to fulfill the demands. The committee has demanded appointment of vacant post of doctors, laboratory technicians, required staffs and infrastructure at Numba Community Health Center. Despite their demands, the government has failed to put it into action. As a result, all modes of public transport stayed off the highway. Ban supporters from Barak to Khongsang came out and blocked all kinds of vehicular movement. Nungba Market, Khongsang and Kambirol markets have been shut down indefinitely. We appeal to the governments to make our needful at the earliest for the welfare of the people of the Nungba area. The total shutdown from yesterday midnight till September 1 for 48 hours has begun in the hill districts. The shutdown was called in protest against the decision adopted by the state cabinet to change the rules and regulations of border area development program. The total shutdown in the hill areas has badly affected normal life in the border areas. Many residents blocked the road at Palel. On the other hand, the total shutdown has also crippled life in Moray border town. Supporters of the total shutdown blocked various roads in the town. Secretary of All Manipur Border Area Development Association, Sai Khozang Baite, expressed disappointment over changing of funds allocated under the border development program into tender scheme. <laughs> Handagi Ehuena, Banto Vusi, Atena Te, Nahangi, Chusan Pula Kevin, a decision lover, BADP Matang, the Mahuina, four, five lakhs to give village out in the Paikat Piaganina, Roman number four, the Tambudo, Madusu Chatnade, Aduga Mahuina, Hujiksi, planning singer, Luga government. Fifteen lakhs to give proposal to dum uh, simgal le proposal to we. Ado proposal to bido tender the contract that can be high with the ekoi village authority ajam bana ya ya da bogi. Hoje ge all Manipur ge border area development Manipur state oina association na central ge suleye duga branch state state ge su form to kare. Handa ngasi handa ban to bosi tenopal khak to nete. ออกคุณเลสตัวเวซูซานปูเลสตัวเวอดาปาลินเอ่อซานดินเลสตัวเวอะคุยน่ะมาซีดีวิเลสออทอริตี้กีเอ่อปาวอลโดลอทุบุม
Tio Tu M. Prem Chand, Principal of St. George High School, Rev. Maria Chingun, Administrator A. Indra Kumar and many people attended the inaugural function. ZTO M. Prem Chand said, certain challenges are being faced by the people with advancement in technology. Students must have the skill to bring out innovative ideas. Teachers, on the other hand, should understand the contents of the textbooks properly in order to bring out creative thoughts and knowledge. All possible help will be extended from the government, he added. A very simple name, no in a innovative science idea amo wero any idea amo labor matam zins da masi ki write up copy ama masi ki magi samit tau na na wong opam dulay re wera masi ki school si tau mo da tau mo da ay madu madi kano tau kung amdre madu tau bira ka diyam pare masi tau ka agadi ang ang dunas scientific model ama kutoke na kan ba matam zins da magi financial help si ba mena dumpi re dawa for about some five thousand or ten thousand something like that alam ay tau dunas Aduna, kalau mengikuti saiz lagi juga nak buat inovatif idea sing kudo kan nak bawa nak benda, akan memilih sendiri. Apa 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 idea sing sih nak punca lagi, atau buat idea ama sahaja lagi. Aku lagi mewah lagi kuna lagi, human humanity lagi. Apa apa sahaja nak benda biar benda korup nak nak bawa thinking tu bawa. Kalau nak wakan kan bawa, kalau ini wajah sing dia idea lor lagi. Aduh, mai tu kan nak wakan sih cakap. Saso has been able to save life of 521 out of 542 drug overdosed persons from the year 2004 to 2017. Speaking to International Overdose Awareness Day program, Secretary R.K. Tiken asserted that one person among them has lost his life. The program was organized by Saso at Manipur Press Club. President of Anju Wang Kimcha Sanjay, Project Director of Mags Valentina Arambam, and Officer of District AIDS Control Society in Fall East, Dr. N. Romila, were the main guests at the program. R.K. Tiken said the awareness program was organized to let the people know what is overdose. Overdosed persons should not be ill treated. Instead, people must identify on how they are compelled to become overdosed persons as well as support them with positive thoughts. He appealed to all civil society organizations to extend support. civil society or so we have a model of support to the people who are in the world. We have a lot of people who are in the world. We have a lot of people who are in the world. We have a lot of people who are in the world. We have a lot of people who are in the world. Major General Birendra Singh of IGAR South has appreciated the talented sports players of Manipur. He was speaking at the felicitation function of the players and officials of National Under-19 Girls Football Championship. The felicitation program entitled Manipur Urja was held at IGAR South headquarters, Mantri Pukri. Players, coach and officials were honored with simple gifts. Cash prize of 50,000 rupees was presented to former runner-up boys team, 1 lakh rupee to champion of girls team and 5 lakh rupees to the overall team of Manipur. Major General Birendra Singh further added that the Assam Rifles has been continuing to encourage the talented players of Manipur. Efforts being made by the state youth affairs and sports and others to bring out renowned players from Manipur that has become famous not only in India but in the whole world are real pride of the people of Manipur. The Assam Rifles will extend further help to the talented players in the future too. Football Association for joining hands with the Assam Rifles and extending their group support for conduct of the three phases of the tournament fair admission by our honorable Prime Minister to harness the young and energetic and enthusiastic sports person and sports girls and women of the state to excel at the national level. 
Now we have to national news. At least 19 people have been killed and dozens injured after a ground plus six story building collapsed in Mumbai's Baikala area this morning. At least 30 people have been rescued so far with dozens reported to be trapped under the rubble. Teams of the NDRF and the fire brigade are at the spot engaged in rescue operations. 90 NDRF personnel, dog squad, 10 fire tenders, two rescue vans and several ambulances are at the site of the collapse which has been categorized as a level 3 emergency by the fire brigade. Talking to media persons, Emily Amin Patel said a notice to vacate the building was issued to tenants. 50% had vacated the building while the rest remained, he said. The structure was old and there were frequent complaints of leakages. Patel said six families were residing in it. The insured are being rushed to the nearby JJ hospital. CM Devendra Fatnavis announced an ex gratia of 5 lakh rupees for the kin of those who died in Bhendi Bazaar building collapse. On the other hand, Prime Minister Narendra Modi expressed condolences to families of those who lost their lives in the collapse and said the news is saddening. Now, before we conclude the headlines once again. Government won't compromise on unreasonable issues, asserts Chief Minister N. Biret. Six government employees suspended anti-corruption cell gets complaints. And incubator machine at Lumfeld Dog Farm remains non-functional due to authorities' negligence. But thus, we end our today's news in English. Thank you very much for watching us. Good night.